Let's do another quick tutorial. I just wanted to show you a very simple trick of making curtains or uh, scenic curtains or like the ones I have here on my screen right now. Instead of using the curve tool and remember to set sides to something really small like five, for example. That should give you like this really crude curve that looks something like this. But that's okay because you don't want that many polygons. So let's keep it down like this. So I'm just gonna start using, drawing the first line along the green axis and the second line along the red axis. And then starting on the edge of this one, I'm just gonna pull out the second one along the green axis. And instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just gonna double click. And we're gonna do that a couple of times. Then you can take these, mark them all by triple clicking using the move tool and moving it to the end like this. And this is the general shape. Now to exclude this shape, uh, it's uh, a lot easier in other programs, but in SketchUp we have to cheat. So to do that, we're first gonna have to lift them up because the landscape tools which we're gonna use actually don't work uh, unless the lines are vertically, not horizontally. Remember to mark them first. Q for rotate, press left, and then let's pick them up 90 degrees. And now they're along the floor like this. And we're gonna make a copy over here. And that's generally all we need. Hold shift down and double, triple click again to mark both lines. And then click on the button, which is called from contours. And there we go. So you can see the reason I didn't have that many uh, polygons is because it gets it can get really crowded in here so keep them down to five even maybe even three would be would be nice and now to scale these you just use the scale tool and you can well create the curtains that you want them so what you'll also realize is that these curtains are actually tileable in the sense that you can put one go in here and I can actually copy this over to this end and simply just smooth the last line there. Oh, and if I find which one, that should give me a longer curtain. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll be back sooner with a new quick tutorial.